What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about how to run the zone read for quarterbacks, guys. I think this is a really important aspect of today's game, especially. Game is evolving, and we're going to break down what you need to do to be perfect at the zone read. And guys, please leave in the comments any questions you might have or any suggestions for any further videos. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get started. So this is Kyler Murray at Oklahoma, right? One of the most dangerous runners at the quarterback position probably of all time if he continues to do what he does right so we're going to break down this zone read right here and then we're going to we're going to watch it full speed then we're going to break it down so he's coming down pulls this ball gets up field right now Kyler is so quick out of the backfield okay so main thing I want to talk about here is the ride fix so quarterbacks if you're reading if this is zone right right so zone right Running back's going to be taking this hole right here. We could pull this thing and run to the left if we're quarterbacks. To break this down in simple, simple terms, I really want to make this simplified. So the main thing is we want to start by extending the ball back like Kyler is doing. Okay, You want to extend the ball in the running back's gut, and you want to have your weight on your left leg. Now, as the running back comes through, we want to shift our weight from this back leg to that front leg, okay? So we want to shift it from our left to our right. They call it a ride. You want to ride the fake. You want to ride the action in the backfield because we're trying to get a read on this defensive end right here. So you guys probably all know if the defensive end widens out, right? He keeps his shoulders square or he widens out. We want to give this ball every single time because when we're in doubt about this guy, we want to give it. Now, uh, off the line, this is kind of, this is tricky here. See this defensive end? He keeps his shoulders square. Now, he's trying to screw with Kyler Murray here. He's trying to screw with him, trying to keep his shoulders upfield, but see how he's crashing down. He's giving Kyler the edge, right? So that's what indicates the pull, okay? But he keeps his shoulders square. Now, that's something as crafty, a crafty defensive end, a defensive end who might be watching this to try to get a quarterback's perspective who's really smart to do that might crash, might crash down but keep his shoulders square to where he's trying to play both of these guys. He's trying to play both, but he can't do that when you have a quick quarterback and we know what we're doing and we know what to expect. Now, the same thing I want to talk about. You see how Kyler left and he shifts his weight to the right and he how he kind of shuffles down, right? He's putting this ball in that running back's stomach, working that play act or not that play action, but working that action in the backfield, working that mesh. That's what we like to call it. This right here, this with the back and the quarterback, that's called a mesh. Now, what it does is it draws this guy down. We're riding that fake as long as we can, transitioning our weight from our back leg to our front leg gets him to crash down. Now, Kyler, what he does is he's fast with the pull. He pulls it, and let's get vertical right now. He does so well with the right fake that he even draws this safety inside, okay? That's what you need to do. This is just read option 101. Draw this end in. See, now he turns those shoulders. That's what doing a right fake will do. See, his shoulders stayed square the entire time, but because we rode this thing from our back leg to our front leg, as you can see right here, that's what drops this defensive end. He turns his shoulders. Now he's committed to the run. Gets this safety even turned down. And now if this wasn't a spring game, Kyler would be gone right now. He'd be going full speed. Now I want you to see how when he pulls this thing, he's getting upfield right now. He doesn't take this thing flat and try to run to the sideline, give everybody time to react and push him out of bounds. He wants to get upfield right now, get out of bounds, protect yourself, or go try to make a play downfield, and that's exactly what he does. Reads this block pretty well and then gets 20-plus yards. That's a great job by Kyler Murray executing this zone read and working this ride fake. Again, transitioning your weight from your left to your back leg or from your back leg to your front leg, drawing this defensive end in, pulling this ball, and we're off to the races. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So he's coming out here, ride the fake, pull this ball. Let's get upfield right now. Gets two guys with that fake. That's the power of riding the fake going from your left to your right. Okay, or your back leg to your front leg. Okay, so now zone read concept here, but it's also going to be off of a speed option. So it's like a triple option, okay? So we're going to watch it full speed, then we'll break it down. So he comes here, pulls this ball, read keys block. Let's just go take it. And he takes this ball up again. Another spring game film, not too mad at it. Um, obviously, he's going to be taking a shot in real game, but it's the same exact read here, okay? So we're reading this defensive end. We're reading the, reading the widest guy. There are situations where you could read where you could read this down lineman right here, you could read this linebacker, different situations, okay? But this right here, this linebacker's work, or this lineman, this right tackle is working up to the second level, and we're reading this guy. We're isolating him, we're making him wrong. Whatever decision he decides to make, he's going to be wrong. So this is one where it's a pull all day. Committed those shoulders, he's running downfield. We got the angle. Let's just go. Let's take it right now. Now, the situation where we wouldn't pull it is let's say he stayed home, opened up his shoulders, and stayed square. Let's just give it. We got a good hole over here. We got good numbers on the left side of the field. Let's just give it. It went in doubt, guys. I cannot stress this enough. When in doubt, we give the football. Don't try to be a hero. It's the worst thing when a quarterback makes a wrong read. Again, so he's doing a good mesh. He's sticking this ball in that running back stomach. Now, where are his eyes? 
eyes are on that defensive end. That's where they need to be, right? You can't have your eyes looking at the running back. I see a lot of quarterbacks, they'll put the ball in the stomach, look at the running back, then they lose the read, and that's where they screw up. And again, look at the fake. Started on his left leg, rode this thing all the way to his front leg. So he started on his right leg, excuse me, rode this thing all the way, all of his weights on his left leg, guiding the fake, riding this fake. Now he pulls this ball and now getting upfield. Now the main thing about a speed option is you've got to keep a good pitch relationship, okay? You don't want to be... This guy wants to be trailing you. This is a great job by this running back. He wants to be trailing you by about one to two yards, okay? Running right on your back heel. So when you do decide to pitch it, it's in stride and then he can go, okay? So now, here's the main thing. This would have been our option read, but the tackle blocks him, which I'm not too mad at because the play works and we had numbers 100%. But let's say he gets up to second level and blocks the safety and we're just isolating this guy right here. We want to attack this linebacker. Make him pick one, okay? Because if we establish a good pitch relationship right here, establish a good pitch relationship and we attack that linebacker he's gonna have to pick one and he comes up to you we pitch it out he runs outside we can maybe fake a pitch and then take this thing up the field and get another 10 yards okay so keeping a good pitch relationship but he realizes he's blocked let's just go take it let's go get what we can let's not try to run outside right here and make a pitch off this corner let's go get vertical let's go get what we can right now let's go take this ball up field obviously take a shot if it wasn't a spring game but that's a big game that's a great job executing this read option working a speed option off of it triple option play Okay, so again, isolating this defensive end, turns his shoulders, let's pull it. He stays home, give it. When in doubt, give it. If he's trying to screw with us a little bit, give the ball. Pull this thing, attack our second read key for the speed option, then take this thing upfield. Let's watch this thing full speed. So he's coming out right now, pulls this ball, attacks the read key, bursts upfield. Great job. Read key was blocked. Not too mad at it. Okay, so now this is going to be Marcus Mariota. Now, we're not even going to look at the defense here. I want to talk about the mechanics of the ride fix. So we want to be able to stick this ball in the gut of our running back. Okay, let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So he puts this thing in the gut. Slow motion, pulls it at the last second. That's what we need to do. Marcus Mariota is the king of the read option because he did this thing all day long at Oregon when he played there, and then he took his skills to the NFL, obviously. So, main thing, where do his eyes go on the snap of the ball? He catches this snap, catches this snap, look at his eyes. Eyes are on the read key, right? That's where you need to go. Catch eyes on the read key. But, oh, I got to look at my running back. I got to make sure he's there. No, you don't. That's what working that mesh point does in during the season and practice when you're going position drills, when you're going everyday drills. That's what you need to work. You need to work that mesh point with your running backs. Guys, after practice, get them for 15 minutes and work that mesh point if you haven't already. Now, see this other thing. He's extending the ball out. He's letting the running back go for it, okay? he's not. He doesn't have his elbows bent and he's super tight with it. He gives him the line moves out of the way with his hips and his feet and extends the ball out, okay? Let the running back go get it, and we're going to stick this ball into his stomach, okay? Now, this running back kind of grabs down on it, which is not really what you want to do from a running back standpoint. You don't want to grab the ball. You want to have a nice wide pocket and you want to ride with the quarterback, okay? But at the same time, you got to go full speed. We can't slow down. But this is a great job by Marcus Mariota sticking this thing in his gut, which makes it more believable. And you can see he rides the fake, right? Rides the fake with him. All the all of his weight is on this right side. Now when he decides to pull it, it's already in his gut, pulls this thing out. Running back does a great job of helping out after the play, working a block, and then he pulls this thing and gets vertical vertical right now. That's a perfect execution of the mesh point on this read option. Eyes on the read key. Eyes are on the read key the entire time. He sees him drive down. Let's pull this ball. We stuck that thing in his gut and let's burst up field. See how he just gets vertical right now. He doesn't try to go outside. Reads Garrett perfectly. Garrett still makes a play, but still, that's probably a third down situation. We need a couple yards. Gets the few yards that he needed. That's a great job by Mariota working that mesh. Let's watch it again full speed. So he's coming out here. Stick it in his gut, ride the fake all the way, pull this thing out last second, let's burst up field, let's get up field. It's a great job on Mariota working that zone read mesh. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please leave in the comments any questions you guys have, any video suggestions that would really mean a lot to me, and I'll see you guys next time.